This is Garthy Garth reporting live from my um, car cam in my van, Brunswick Street, having a bit of a meltdown. And when I have a meltdown, get depressed. I eat. So, I've... It looks like a drink, it's not. It's ice cream. Ice cream. And I'm about to wolf it. Even consciously, I still want to go through this process. And hopefully one day, one day, I can resort to my things. So conscious and it's like all my troubles have gone away now. There's no pain. There's no suffering in my head. Where else in the world? It's weird. I'm freezing cold ice cream on a winter's night. And it's winter. Yeah, so knowledge isn't power. Knowledge isn't power to use it. Now we get down to the sayings, metaphor sayings. So, I'm using all my power to say yes. Even in my head, I'm going, and the next seven days I'll be good. I'm even convincing myself how amazing I'm going to be in the future. I'm not even fully focused on this. All the weird. I'm saying, oh yeah, no, it's all right, tomorrow I'll be fine, I'll starve, I'll, I won't eat, I'll, I'll do all that crazy stuff, I'm, I'll eat vegetarian, I'll, I'll just nibble, I'll just graze to, um, you know, it'll all be, no mayonnaise, it'll just be lettuce, let's eat lettuce, ah. oh my god, that was almost to the point of sickly, I devoured that, that was probably the greatest experience I've had. I don't know how to explain this. Now I'm like at the point of, oh my God, I think I'm gonna throw up. And that's the point I get to. That's the point where I go, oh, maybe I'm satisfied now. I am actually satisfied now all of a sudden because now I can't feed a bloody thing in. <laughs> I'm gonna break the zip iron. And now I'm depressed about it again. Nah, yes, I just didn't go home and slip it off. No, no, I'm depressed about it again. I just hoed, hoed. Is it something I have to live with for the rest of my life, is what I'm saying to myself. This crazy obsession with food, punishing myself, but yet instant gratification and then feeling crap and guilt at the next bit. <coughs> and I'm starting to crack at the seams. I think I need help. Like mental help. Hardcore mental help. Starting out from a day of destruction. A day of destruction. Da, da, destruction. Hi, it's Garthy Garth here. Just driven home from my um my binge day again. Day again. This constant binging is driving me friggin' crazy. Friggin' friggin' crazy. And I'm feeling pretty ill, actually. I feel like... Just burping and... It's not going to stay down, I know that. It's not going to stay down. Just went to excess unnecessarily, and it's just so frustrating. It's demoralizing. I'm supposed to be, you know, over 40 weeks into this whole experience. And you think my brain, after 40 weeks, would get the hang of it, that I just don't do that sort of behaviour anymore. I, Garth Lanigan, do not do that sort of behaviour. But no. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. <sighs> just don't do that sort of behaviour anymore. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. Oh,
It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Well, I keep doing it to myself. I don't even know what to say, I'm just disappointing myself. The constant. That's what it is. Break the shit out of something. Break the shit out of Why do I do it myself? I guess I t get to taste things twice. I just want to sit there and wallow in my own patheticness. Because that's what I feel pathetic. I've just fucking brutalized myself. It's not the first time either, this is the first time I've captured it because I've been too embarrassed to show the world what really happens when Garthy Garth <sighs> destroys himself with food. This is the bit no one sees or even gets told of. You say, oh, I ate so much I was sick. You know, it's just normally a figure of speech. But it's actually a, re a reality for me. Uh, it's Garthy Garth here, it's week 40, and you know what that means? In theory, I'm halfway there, in theory. But um, after my successful um, weigh in last week, you know, I had all doubts about whether one kilo was going to be enough or whatever. But yeah, it's definitely getting harder, getting harder. Um, and I've definitely got to eat a lot better. And exercise has completely fallen off this week, just non-existent whatsoever. The occasional little walk here and there, but um, it's really frustrating. And um, mentally, I'm probably a bit unstable at the moment. Um, I think, you know, I'm probably losing more weight than my brain can deal with, because it's all this all these negativity coming into it and my focus on food is just so much more intense it's like every breathing moment I'm thinking about food and how I'm going to do better and it's, it's almost driving me crazy actually and um, yeah it's pissing me off actually oh it's way in time jeez I got so distracted um, week 40 122 kilos Let's do it. Let's go to the video tape. but still it's um, not the buffer I like not the buffer I like at all but just, I just don't feel happy and 
maybe you're gonna learn with it. Maybe you're gonna learn a bit, learn a bit, learn to it. My brain's just not working. Maybe I've got to learn to live with that. It's part of the journey. And I've got to accept that there's going to be some negativity and I've got to work through it somehow. But overall, just not feeling the. I'm halfway there and I can't even get excited. Well, I am excited, but it's not coming from a place of excitement. It's coming because I'm going to force it. Excited. I'm excited. Woohoo! So head a target, got a bit of a buffer, not much of a buffer, but this is Guffy Guff, signing out. Thanks Melbourne, thanks Australia, thanks the world for watching.